today, I wanted to just really hit on something. Successfully dealing with pain. I think you hear, you, you, you hear many stories and, and, and every story I just sat in the back room and listened to, I'm, I'm watching these people triumph and, and figure out ways to keep going. But how do you keep going? Why do you keep going? When the world says everything else is supposed to be opposite. Every time you come up to a challenge, you quit, you surrender, you give up, you give in. Every single thing I go through, I remember I was homeless and I draw from it. Every single time I'm going through pain, I remember that I've gone through pain since I was a kid. I draw from it. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. There's two sides of pain that I don't think a lot of people really understand. Right? There's, there's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. And, 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 and if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt it, you back off. The first time you felt ah, that burn, the first time you felt that ah, it's too much. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. That's why kids have a problem finishing things in today's time. Because as soon as they feel a small bit of discomfort, of things ain't right, oh, they gone. I can't do it no more. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. See, sometimes we think the pain it's what controls us. It's actually our subconscious mind that if we ever tapped into that, that's what dictates most of our lives. Because see, pain, pain is tricky because if you don't control pain, it'll control you. Think about what we do the moment we feel that, right? That's back to the two sides of faith, the, the two sides of pain. See, at that point, I feel like a victim. And I feel like, oh man, why me? You know, and, and when I feel, I remember laying on the ground. And I said, Lou, ain't nobody out here gonna help you get up. What makes you get up when you fall down? What makes your mentality change if there's a great situation or there's a bad situation? How do you dictate that based off the level of pain? Because I think that's what we're getting in trouble at. And so when I started cycling, when I started going to see these doctors, I realized that I turned my greatest pain into my greatest achievement. Well, sometimes your greatest pain, it ain't even about you. It's about a greater purpose. That if you can find a way to push through, that if you can find a way to not make it about you, learn, learn to appreciate the occasional stories that come in your life. Just learn to appreciate how small they are, the occasional that's the ingredient 